Rao, this is Kai Pancha with the Weekly Paleo Report for February 21st, 2017. I bring you now directly to the charts because this is what is most obvious about this being one of the major weeks to remember. Let me show you why. Yes, as of Wednesday, the moon conjuncts with Pluto, but you can already see the moon is not just conjunct Pluto. If you follow these little lines, the moon and Pluto are both squaring Jupiter, and they are both coming down to square. The moon is squaring Venus, but Pluto is exactly, yes, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, Mars exactly squares Pluto and conjoins with Uranus, yes, this weekend, and opposes Jupiter. As what? I mean, if that's not enough, okay, this is like super intense. Here we go. Here is <clears throat> Thursday. You can see Mars done with its square to Pluto is creeping up on Uranus. And then Friday comes around. Saturday. Sunday. Boom. Sunday, we have the solar eclipse. The moon exactly conjunct the sun at 8 degrees, 12 minutes of Pisces. Mercury has moved into Pisces. Mars exactly conjunct 21 to 21 Aries, opposite Jupiter at 22. Oh, my God. This Look at the pile up in Pisces. Sometimes I call it a Pisces party, but now I'm going to call it the Pisces pile up. Mercury, south node of the moon, sun, moon, Neptune, and Chiron. So this eclipse is a south node eclipse. The north node of the moon is at three degrees of Virgo. The south node of the moon is at three degrees of Pisces, and I will discuss what that means face to face. I just wanted to give you this, you know, little final blast shot in the arm here, as you can see then on Monday. Mars moves into 22 degrees and exactly opposes Jupiter on Monday. Finally, the sun is creeping up on Neptune and what? Boom. Yeah. By next Wednesday, of course, that's another Pele report. <laughs> I will be talking about the sun conjunct Neptune. All right. Let me look at the camera, talk a little bit about what this all means. Okay. This report is going to be short, precise, direct, and to the point. <laughs> because that's what Mars is all about. Mars is the masculine, it's the sword, it's the scalpel, it's the machete. It cuts straight, okay, to the heart of the matter. It is that powerful masculine phallic force that penetrates to, yes, pioneering, beginning, starting, and in some cases, cutting cords with the past, finishing and completing. So when it comes into aspect with Pluto, Okay, this is time to let go, say goodbye to the old Pluto in Capricorn, established, straight, secure, solid, and step forward into Aries, the new Uranus is the real killer here, right? Sudden, unexpected, unconscious, okay, I mean, it's just like extreme, this is, you know, Uranus is the wild card planet of all astrology. And, you know, we just want to see that when Mars and Uranus come together, it, you know, it rules over accidents and explosions. And in the old paradigm astrology, it was, you know, like really like look out. And of course you square it to Pluto, it's like death and destruction and earthquakes and wars and Mars, Uranus, Pluto come together. And then Jupiter just makes it all bigger more, more accidents, explosions, and da 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 I mean, it's, it's like, you know, it's a, it, in the old books, right, these are like malefic, Mars is a malefic planet, Uranus malefic, Pluto malefic, a, as in mal, muy mal, muy bad, very bad. <laughs> so what's the good? Right? We live in a polarized dualistic reality here on planet Earth, and there is positive and minus and good and bad. So we want to try to focus on the positive here, make the best use of this energy, and that is to begin. Uranus is our personal unconscious. 
it is all powerful and it is the process that Jung coined as individuation. We are each unique individuals and this is a time of striking out in our unique individual soul purpose okay this is all in trying to Saturn I didn't mention that but it is okay and this is time for us to really step forward expressing our own unique individual truths this may require rebelling or revolting against external authorities institutions establishments teachers parents spouses whoever okay is trying to stand in the way of us yes being sovereign autonomous independent and free Mars Uranus and Aries wants freedom it's opposite Jupiter in Libra the sign of even open enemies partners and other people and Jupiter is big so this is saying okay there are other okay either enemies or partners or other people that are playing big roles in our lives that are either going to really help us individuate and free ourselves and liberate ourselves or they are going to like really try to squash dominate control and limit us so this is where you know this is kind of a time you know that uh, and Libra is also about social justice so on a world scale okay you know on the political scene uh, you know in, in you know in the economic realm this can really be ups and downs with you know the stock markets and the finances and the politicians coming out with extreme statements and rules or laws or orders and you know maybe people backlashing or you know having problems or issues with the authorities this is you know, this Pluto and Capricorn like we said is the last dying breaths of the patriarchy trying to maintain some kind of control and order over a population that is liberating itself and the astrology reflects this beautifully yeah so this solar eclipse is coming along and I'm not going to talk about it too much because why because that's all I'm doing is talking I'm doing these videos and webinars and commercials and it's just like you know this is like too freaking much man I'm giving a webinar on Friday with Sol and Ari, both Dream Team members from the New Paradigm Astrology community where we're going to talk all about the eclipse. And I did a video. I, I did a video already for 2017, you know, taking this uh, Jupiter-Uranus, uh, you know, opposition through all your houses. And I just hope, you know, I've been doing this for like seven years now on a weekly basis. And I hope that I have in some way demonstrated the value and usefulness of astrology and you knowing your chart. <laughs> it's time for you <laughs> yeah, to be your own astrologer. You go to astro.com or you can join the new paradigm community that I've got. Get your chart done for free. Start seeing where your planets are because I, this Pele report is very general. But if you know where your planets are and where this solar eclipse is hitting, this Friday I'm going to go over, okay, you know, if the solar eclipse is aspecting your Mars, if it's aspecting your moon, if it's aspecting your sun, this is like very unique for you. And it's going to like be a very intense six months for you. So I'm going to go more into the eclipse on Friday. I'm not, I don't need to go into it here except to say that the eclipse always brings in sudden, bizarre, unusual, new, foreign energy. Okay? Spirits from other galaxies, you know, alien energy, whatever, from deep space, I like to call it. But it is, you know from the future, from the past, from another dimension, outside time and space. So it, like weird, quirky, funky things happen. That's why a lot of uh, you know uh, traditional astrologers would say this is a good week for you to duck and cover. Duck and cover. <laughs> you know, 
Like uh, the danger, I would say here is over ex overextending, over expanding, uh, being too extreme, uh, over gambling, overreaching, uh, overestimating yourself or other people or your, you know what, or, or the future or whatever. This is just you know Jupiter Uranus. 2017 is the year of too much. And you're all too busy and I'm too busy and we're all too busy and we get irritable and we make mistakes because we just want to be done with it so we can relax. And this is like the dangerous part. You really need to like be awake and be aware through all of this. Okay. Keep your, you know, keep your vibration down. Stay in your center. Stay in your core. And then you can take the most advantage okay of this particular time and you can have sudden advancements and sudden surprises and this is why in the in the mantra today I say this is a time where we can fly really high and free okay like the eagle if we let go of our fears and our ego and our own you know little world and like listen to the greater divine plan and the greater intelligence. Uranus rules astrology. Look at your chart. Look at the coming age of Aquarius. Look at the bigger picture and fit into the bigger picture. And as you consciously align yourself with the bigger picture, bam, huge, amazing, uh, you know, results can happen. And it's just like, wow. You, your mind can be blown in a really positive way. If you are, there's nothing personal about Uranus, okay? And so it's like, when, you know, if you are stuck in your ego and stuck in, okay, oh my God, my money, my relationship, my business, my future, my success, me, 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 me. Uh, 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 this, this is where, this is where you may get kicked in the butt you may get shocked or surprised and say, hey, yeah, you know, like open your eyes, look at the bigger picture, look at the bigger world and some news story or some tragedy or some natural disaster or some war, you know, uh, 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 what do they call those acts, oh, act of war or something can like, you know, shock you into like, hey, duh, would you like look, you know, around and get out of your own little bubble. <laughs> this is a bubble bursting time. <laughs> so enough of me, man. You got you got work to do. You got to get back to your work. Let me wrap it up with the mantra and just say that if ever there was a time to let go, do yoga and breathe. This most certainly is it. For I can fly like an eagle on high or throw up my hands and quit. If you are in the flow with the flow, I was watching the, you know, the vultures yesterday. You know, they're just soaring around, not even no effort. They're gliding on the wind stream. So this is a time where if you get, okay, on the right current on the right wind stream okay you can be right rise 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 and you can you know jupiter opposite uranus mars is like great birth great genius great awakening you can have this can be a this can be a super time of a super great liberating awakening where your third eye just opens up and you go wow i see or <laughs> you can try to just like, you know, uh, you know, hang low, duck and cover, you know, be small, uh, you know, do what you're told and, you know, you know, just try to, you know, maintain, live in fear and hold on to that job and hold on to that partner and hold on to that house or whatever, the uh, reputation and, 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 and try to then, sorry, bro, <laughs> kick in butt, wake up. You know, stop, uh, you know, stop trying to fit in and be normal. There is no such thing as normal. Discover your own unique truth or die. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. We know in astrology there is no death, 
only transformation. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Adios. Namaste. Aloha. So much love.